First at 10, a pair of brothers are dead after an SUV crashed into the restaurant they were eating in. Only on WRAL, we're hearing from a Hardy's employee who says they were in the restaurant when the whole thing happened. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Julian Grace. Let's take a look at the damage that crash left behind. You can see the vehicle drove straight through the front of the window. WRAL's Leslie Moreno spent today working to learn more about the victims in this incident and speaking with people who were inside that SUV before it came crashing down. Julian, everyone I've spoken to is in shock after what they saw and heard this morning. You can see the damage here right behind me. All of those windows shattered when that SUV crashed into the restaurant. An employee I spoke with says the two brothers were sitting right there by that window eating breakfast when it all happened. Gabriela Alonso was in the drive-thru at Hardy's when she heard an employee scream. I just heard the, late, the young lady screaming from, from the drive-thru and I looked in the mirror and I just see glass everywhere. 78 year old Jesse Lawrence crashed an SUV into this Hardy's restaurant striking two brothers. 58 year old Christopher Ruffin who was pronounced dead on scene and his 62 year old brother Clay Ruffin who later died at the hospital. Alonzo walked up to the scene and was horrified by what she saw. It seemed as if he was ejected from from the restaurant. Um, because he was outside on the sidewalk. Um, he was in <laughs> in that stage. A Hardy's employee who was working at that time says the two brothers were sitting next to the window eating breakfast. There was also a young boy who ended up underneath the SUV while his dad was in the restroom. I saw him when he came out of the bathroom um, and he went through all the glass and the um, stuff and he wound up finding uh, he, he pulled a boy out from underneath the car. And he, uh, the little boy, he um, he was screaming and hollering because, I mean, he was scared and he got cuts and stuff on the top of his head. The employee says the impact was so powerful there was glass at the front counter and pieces of the building in the lobby. The driver of the SUV was also transported to the hospital where he was treated and released. Alonzo has been replaying the images in her head all day. She says she almost ordered her food inside today. As soon as I pulled in, this, this could have been me. This could have been me in that accident. Officers are still investigating the incident, but they do not believe it to be medical or impairment related. Julian. Tributes are already pouring in for the brothers on Facebook right now. Leslie Moreno reporting live in Wilson. Thank you.